Okay, welcome back to lesson two of the Build Your Own Business website tutorial series. In this part of the lesson, we will configure Outlook 2003 to use your new email address. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Outlook. Then go to the Tools, Email Accounts, and select Add a New Email Account, and then select Next. This brings up the server type dialog box, and we will be creating a POP3 email account. So select that radio button and click Next. This brings up the Internet Email Settings dialog box. Under User Information, you'll enter your name, which in this case is Mark Anderson. This is the name that you want to display in the email message header. The next thing is your email address. Bob at BYOB tutorial.com. Under login information, the username is the same as listed in the Bluehost control panel. So flip back over to Bluehost. The username is this mail server username, which in this case is Bob at BYOBtutorial.com. So flip back over to Outlook and enter that information. Bob at BYOB tutorial.com now the password is the same as the password we entered earlier so that will be and we definitely want to remember the password next the server information now obviously every time I refer to Rick at BYOB tutorial.com or Bob at BYOB tutorial.com you're going to substitute your email and your domain name, such as jane at yourdomainname.com. So back under server information, the incoming mail server we get from Bluehost. So let's flip back over to our control panel. And the incoming mail server is mail.byobtutorial.com or mail.yourdomainname.com. So back to Outlook. That is mail.byob. And the outgoing mail server is also found in the Bluehost control panel. So flip back over to Bluehost. And the outgoing mail server is mail.byobtutorial.com. Going back over here, mail.byobtutorial. Dot com. So next, you need to select More Settings. The thing that's important here is the outgoing mail server. It's important that we say that the outgoing server requires authentication and that we use the same settings as the incoming mail server. Go ahead and select OK to that. And now we're at the moment of truth. We can test our account settings. It says, congratulations, all tests have completed successfully. Click close to continue. Then click next and click finish. And now back here at Outlook, if you select send and receive, you will find the test email message that we sent to ourselves. This is a test email message that's automatically generated by Outlook when it tests the account settings. And this email is evidence that the setup has worked. Okay, so now we have Microsoft Outlook connected to your email address, which brings us to the end of the second part of Lesson 2. In the next part of this lesson, we will configure Gmail as an email client.